Do you think you can dance? Well, personally, I cannot dance. Even if my life depended on it, I cannot dance. But every time I watch this show, So You Think You Can Dance, I always feel as though I can. And today was the first... Well, today was the top tw the top 20 um, like dancer people. It was just it was amazing. The music, the dancing, the makeup, and the hair was amazing. Which is why I'm doing a tutorial today on hair. Because Randy, Randy Evans, not only was she an excellent, excellent dancer, but her hair was awesome. She had a little braid in the front, and then she had these kind of crazy curls going everywhere. And so I did my kind of turn twist on it, I guess kind of like inspired, I was inspired by her hair. So I did that, and then another dancer, Caitlin Kenny, she did a Bollywood style dance, and she had on this awesome like hot pink smoky kind of makeup, and I was just, I was like, I have to do a tutorial, because her look was amazing. Everything was just awesome, so first of all, you need to go watch So You Think You Can Dance. Second of all, stay tuned for the curly hair tutorial, and third of all, keep an eye out for the makeup tutorial. So just go watch So You Think You Can Dance. It's awesome. I already voted a couple of times. A lot of times. Just, oh, I love the show. I love it. So stay tuned for the hair tutorial. Bye. Alright guys, so first what we're going to do is start by parting the hair. Go from your eyebrow, from the top arch of your eyebrow, just go diagonal until you have a diagonal part. And then I'm going to split my hair in two. And first we'll be working with this side. If you see my tutorial how to curl hair with a curling iron, this is how I always part my hair without fail. Just because I find that I can get all the hair curled this way easier. So Ooh. So in the show, it looked as though she, the, her stylist used a three quarters inch curling iron, so or a one inch. You can either use a three quarters inch or a one inch, but I'm this is what I I have, so I will be using the three quarters inch Hot Tools curling iron. And so my hair has already been prepped. So just start from the top. And just twirl. This will. This is. If you have short hair, this will be a cinch for you. Take small sections, about this big. And again, if you have short hair, this is going to go by really easily. Easily, I promise. So just turn and release a little from your clamp. Turn, release a little from your clamp. Turn, release a little. Turn, release until you have all the hair. And then you just let go. And you do the you do this technique throughout all of your head. So just go turn, and believe me, once you start practicing, this will go by really, really fast. And as we edge towards the back, we can start getting bigger sections, cause her look was mostly about the front. Again, just take a section, release, twirl. And just take it and twist. And you're turning outward. So outward means, because I've gotten some questions about this, is that you take the piece of hair and you take your curling iron so that the clamp is facing outside and then you're just going to turn in that direction. So you're turning as if it's going to flip outside. If you want to curl going inside, you're going to have the curling iron underneath I mean the clamp underneath, and you're going to be curling it towards you, if that makes any sense. So I hope that gives you a sense of what I'm talking about. Now I'm just going to curl the rest of my hair, and I will be right back with you. Alright, now after you've curled all of your hair, run your hands through it a couple of times just to loosen up the curls. And I know right now it looks a little funky, but I'm hoping it'll turn out awesome. Alright, so next we're going to take... Sun silk, hold me forever hairspray, and just spray it all over. Because the look in the show 
it's very pieced together. It's not, it's very piecey. It's not a very, um, kind of smooth, rolling look. So either with hairspray or maybe with mousse or something, you want to get that in there to separate up the curls and make them more defined. All right. So we're just going to take our curling iron again, and we're just going to take little strands and curl it. Because hairspray, when you have hairspray in your hair, and you curl it with a curling iron, it's going to give you a different texture. So just take random sections, and at this point, you can go ahead and go the opposite direction. So instead of going outwards, you can take your curling iron and go inwards because you're working with such with smaller sections and it helps break it up break this hairstyle up even more so you can go out and then take another piece another chunk of hair have your clamp outward and then curl towards you And it's just going to give, break up the curls and give it a more spunky look because that's how Randy had it from So You Think You Can Dance. And again, watch the show. It is just awesome. It's just an amazing show. And as you noticed, I'm only really doing this to the front section, to your face framing section. Whoa, I look crazy right now. Just because the back really didn't look as though she did much with it. Okay, so now that I've turned, I'm going to turn off my curling iron. Take a small, 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 small section of hair, about like this. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I'm trying to replicate the look that she had. Now this was just a braid, it was just braided in the front, so that's all I'm going to do. If you want to, you could French braid, but I don't really know how, so I'm just going to braid and her braid was tucked under so that's what I'm gonna do tuck it under, use a bobby pin to secure it and then take pieces of hair and go over it now luckily for me this will kind of tone down and it'll look a little better in a couple of hours. If, or well, not really a couple of hours, but a couple of minutes, it'll tone down a little. But, let's see if you can see the braid. Yeah, you can see the braid a little. And so, this was just a So You Think You Can Dance inspired hair tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you got something out of it. And go watch So You Think You Can Dance because it's an awesome show. So, we'll be posting pictures. Bye.